Hello, I'm Jashikins, and welcome to another little trailer review. This time I'm looking at the trailer of Cell, which is the movie adaptation of the Stephen King book of the same name. And I have read the book, I believe if you look on this channel, you can see in my review of it and if you're on my blog if you go to tale of con the table of contents link on the sidebar thingy i think you i believe you can find it there so yay so uh, <laughs> i'm a fan of stephen king but just because some um, trailer comes out or some movie news comes out of a stephen king book being adapted, I'm not automatically like, oh my god, I have to see this, uh, The Dark Tower, for example, and I've done vlogs, I remember definitely doing a podcast, and probably I post about it, I can't remember, I definitely remember the podcast on my channel, Josh Talks, and the problems I have with that, and no, it's not just Roland being cat, Roland's casting, so you can look about that one of the things it's like it's starting in the middle of the action I mean like I don't know like I just the more news I find out about it the more I'm like oh fuck this looks like a train wreck and but I'm not going to take up any more time uh, about the dark tower I just want to point out my biases and you know how I'm looking at this trailer Anyways, from the very start of the trailer, you can definitely see some differences from the book. For one thing, Clay has a cell phone. The reason Clay wasn't, if you want to say, infected in the book was that he didn't have a cell phone. He was, you know, one of those weird people that didn't have a cell phone. And, and and I believe the book was written back in 2006, so I guess, I guess maybe they thought it wasn't as believable of someone not having a cell phone, you know, in, the mod in today's day and age, in 2015. I mean, that's why they changed it, but in the books it always seemed to be... They, in the book, it always seemed to be an oddity still, so it's not like... It, it'd still be an oddity if they kept that, so... It was one of the key defining characteristics of just, this is why I'm not infected, so it'll be very interesting to see, you know, how they deal with him not being infected now that he actually has a cell phone. And another thing is, it happens at the airport. In the, in the movie. In the book, it's this park. But as long as... I don't mind the location being changed because from the trailer, it definitely appears there's still that sense of horror, that sense of terror, that sense of tension that was in the book. So as long as they get the general feeling of this batshit insane things happening. I think it was like five or ten pages in and you're like, fuck it. So as long as they keep that up, I don't mind that they're changing location. We'll just have to see how they do. I don't mind as long as they keep things up. And in the book, Tom, who in the movie is played by Samuel L. Jackson, is a gay character. And there's there's characteristics of Tom that would be a little odd if Tom ends up being straight in the movie. It's just like all these little insights and all these little things he's some of the things he says. It's just dependent on him being gay. And another thing, of course, about me wanting Tom to be gay in the movie adaptation too is representation and it was Tom in the book was a good representation it's he was allowed to be his own character you know he had all these things going about him and yet he was gay and that came out every now and again and that is really how you should do representation you put these characters as people 
you know, just people acting so as pe people acting as people and you know you can say oh they're gay but it's not like this is the gay character it's that this character is this characteristic or that characteristic and oh yeah they're gay and something in the book that wasn't really forced on you it's something you can look back on but it's not like oh look he's gay aren't i so progressive it was integrated very well into the book and I really want him to be gay in the movie just because one representation two that's the character from the from the book it's like I'll, I just really am really worried that they might change it I'm not really certain I mean nowadays it seems seems being in the community is more acceptable so and yeah, I I like even if Tom isn't gay in the movie, uh, Samuel L. Jackson will do a fucking awesome job. It's just like I don't like Idris Elba being cast as Roland, but I know he will fucking nail whatever part, whatever script he is given, and so I know whatever Tom's orientation in the movie. Samuel L. Jackson will fucking knock it out of the park. I mean, a bunch of the trailer was this was Samuel L. Jackson speaking, and I believe, if memory serves me right, it was from when Tom was at some funeral that everyone sort of gathered around and Tom was speaking at. So long story short, I can't fucking wait to see this. This the trailer just excites me. It's like I know some people are like, oh, they weren't really zombies in the book. But my thing is that when you translate something from the page to the big screen, it's a you know two different mediums. So there's some changes. So in the book. They were really, the majority, the herd, was just senseless, definitely near the beginning. And as the book progressed, they became more and more stable. And it was like there was a hive mind with some being, some of the herd being more articulate, you know, more independent. And yeah, so it was, yeah, so uh, they're showing a bunch of the more zombie like in the trailer, so that might be somewhat near the beginning and as things progress it might just be the parts of the herd that, you know, aren't in, as in control. And I'm just going to end this with, I'm not saying, for those of you who still want to read the book, I highly, highly recommend you do that they're like, oh, what have since the whole thing is, you know, Clay trying to get back to his son, they're like, oh, he's probably already dead or something. And I'm just like, I'm not going to say what happens, but I had to, I couldn't put the book down for the last 50 or so pages. And I was rewarded at the end of the book with this mother fucker of a cliffhanger. I mean, I, I'm used, I get sort of angry at cliffhangers, but this one was like, this was one that was so fucking up there that was like, I, I'm, I'm really fucking surprised I didn't throw the book across the room because I'm just like, in shock, like, no, there's, there's gotta fucking be for so yeah, if you're going to read the book, just be prepared of the motherfucker of all cliffhangers waiting for you. And I don't know if they're going to be keeping that in the movie or not, but I actually really want them to keep that cliffhanger in just so I can see everyone else suffer. 
anyways, uh, if, what did you think about the Cell trailer? Have you read the book? And if you have, how do you think the trailer seems to compare to the book? And does that make you hopeful for that adaptation at all? And I have been Jashikins, owner at jashikins.vlogspot.com. If you go to my vlog, you can see a lot of shit. <laughs> and I'm working on the next chapter of The Dawning. <laughs> and so, what? And the latest Flight Rising giveaway is on my blog, the blog, so yay. And it's like right after my Dragon Cave giveaway, which I... I, I sort of had a timetable. I wanted to do the fly raising giveaway, so that's the only reason they're like back to back. Or else that would not happen because it's getting too fucking tiring. Just, oh God. Anyways, if you go on the sidebar thingy on my blog, you can, the dra there's a new dragon there to be named. And, and there's a poll about the Walking Dead season six finale. It's like maybe only 11 the 14 days left so no one has voted so you know please go ahead and vote and if you're watching this on the youtube the links i mentioned will be at, down in the description if you're watching this on my blog the blog links will be on the sidebar thingy get away get away get away <laughs> oh god anyways I write a web series called Chronicles of Gaia. It's post-apocalyptic. So far now, there's two chapters of the main series out and one bonus chapter. And I'm still, there's a day or so left for questions for the upcoming Q&A. So, you know, if you have any questions about that series, it just, you know, comment on the post on the blog. And, yeah, and for the bonus chapter of Chronicles of Gaia, you have to be a patron of my Patreon, and you can not just view uh, bonus chapters, or bonus content, you can also, when main chapters of the series are have a preview out on the blog, you can actually view them ahead of time instead of waiting uh, like a week or so you can go I'm viewing it now what? <laughs> and yeah and if you're thinking about donating to my Patreon but going like I don't fucking want to watch Chronicles of I don't care about Chronicles of Gaia for one dollar a month you get updates on my ebooks and for five dollars a month you get a monthly vlog featuring me and you also get bonus reviews that come out every now and again I do and I do Ryan commissions on Fiverr I have a cafe press shop open and I add a new sign once once a week usually I think this coming week I may just expand on one of my existing designs and let's see yeah I think that's it and until next video, goodbye.